Can you hear with my brother? Uh, Ross Spence. Ross Spence. Out of Shaka Mexico. And we're here at the uh, Brooklyn Dance Africa Festival. Our last day, uh, Monday, and uh, just got a uh, book, which is almost worth it. Great mystery, great mystery, Philadelphia. So, uh, yeah. so uh, I'm gonna open up and tell folks a little bit about it and how they can get it. Yes, 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 yes. Well, it's uh, it's not solely about Philadelphia, really it's about us. It's about art, history, mystery, and prophecy. Uh, but how our history, mystery, and prophecy is encoded in the art and architecture of Philadelphia. And the way it's encoded is really revealing because it shows an attempt to steal our birthright and place in prophecy. As many people associate Philadelphia with just brotherly love. But uh, William Penn named Philadelphia Philadelphia because of Philadelphia's place in biblical prophecy. Being the one community, the one congregation of the seven churches of Revelation to receive a benevolent prophecy on Judgment Day. You know, so that is our birthright, and them birthing Philadelphia the way they did was really an attempt to steal that, swap that birthright with us, you know, and that's what's encoded in the art and architecture of the city. Philadelphia has uh, the most public art of any city in the country. There's over 5,000 pieces of registered public art spread throughout the city of Philadelphia, you know? Uh, and you might look at one piece and it in and of itself might not have much meaning to the great mystery, right? But when you look at that piece in relationship to the other art, public art in the city, right? It's, it's the, re the relative location of the two. Uh, just other uh, dynamics that are created in the uh, city artscape. It tells a story that once decoded is a great mystery. And when we say great mystery, it's a mystery and mystery. Because things that may have been confusing to us, we see it, but we don't fully understand why it is. You know? Once you know the great mystery of Philadelphia, you're clear on it. One example, because I know it's like a weed smoke. One example, why is the Church of Latter-day Saints, or who they call the Mormons, why do they have the largest genealogical database on planet Earth? That's a, kind of a mystery. You know, maybe even a lot who are in the JDS church don't even know themselves. Why genealogy and bloodline is so important to the Mormons, right? Great mystery Philadelphia will reveal that, you know? So that's just one example. Uh, could you go back and, and mention uh, what you were just saying about the city hall? Yes. Okay. I noticed you had that 88 frequency in your uh, email. And I work with that 88 frequency too. Because, you know, 8 got an ancestral energy to it. Scorpio 8 sign, dealing with the underworld. Philadelphia is a Scorpio city. Literally, you know, just was a lot of ancestral. The Philadelphia is a haunt. You know, it got that 8 Scorpio frequency, you know. But, uh, 
uh, in Building City Hall, which architecturally is the largest Babylonian mystery temple on planet Earth. And I'm not going to go into the details of that right here and now. You know, get the book, right? But it's the largest Babylon mystery temple, meaning City Hall, I will just, City Hall is designed, even though it's a municipal building, it's designed as a temple. It has, you know, a holy sanctum or, you know, uh, concentric courts, courts within courts. Uh, like many temples do, you know, like a holy, a holy, uh, as well as it, it was, it's a masonry building. It's built like a megalithic architectural structure, like Giza or Taj Mahal, you know, there's no steams or uh, beams or girders holding up City Hall, you know, but they used 88 million blocks. 88 million bricks oh, sorry, sorry. to construct no, City Hall. Again, capturing that 88 frequency. 88 is a powerful frequency. It's not but random, no, no, but they use 88 million no, no, bricks no, to build, rebuild Baba. Oh, okay. So, so where can folks get your book? Uh, Rossbin.com and Black and Nobel. Philadelphia, Black and Nobel, Bookstore, and Rossbin.com. I'm not messing with Amazon the Beast, you know, because uh, I just, I did work with them in the past. I didn't appreciate love how they do the small what happened is the Chinese people are taking these things out uh, of Tibet. I don't want to support and, uh, the beast realization the of economics. And then the Chinese, you know? um, then they had an uh, earthquake. I like hard currency. I don't necessarily like dead presidents, but I do like hard currency. And anyway, this electronic it's a serious, beast system. It's a serious uh, yes, yeah. That's what they're You know, I'm not going to... Uh, do you have your uh, Volunteering, participating to the full degree of getting on that Amazon market. Yet, you know, never say never, but I'm gonna hold out as long as possible. So, Rasbin.com, R-A-S-B-E-N.com, and Black and Nobel, Black and Nobel Bookstore. Yes, I give thanks for the platform, Melvin, right. and give you, thanks for the support. Okay, all right. No yes, sir. Yeah. And I uh, hope to see you uh, next round. Yeah. Yes, sir. Respect. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh,